Welcome to Softree. This is Erin. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new location design. When creating a new location design, there's two steps that we're going to want to take to start. First is defining the topographic surface. This can be either a terrain file with a tin surface, or a P-line traverse, or both. Land XML surfaces are also supported, and in this case, a terrain tin is created by RoadEng. The second step is to optionally define an initial alignment. This can be either a terrain feature or a land XML file. Here's a bit more of a visual look at how we can define our topography and initial alignment when going into location. For this example, we're going to be using a terrain file. Before we get started on our official example, here's a quick tip. You can use the module menu functions to easily navigate between the different modules of RoadEng. When we select File New, we're asked to define our original ground surface. Once the file is opened, the New Location Start Coordinates dialog box will appear. This allows us to select a start coordinate or to import an existing alignment. Here we chose Center of Terrain. We will define our start coordinate later. Let's adjust our screen layout to one a little bit more conducive to this exercise. In our plan window, we can see the original ground DTM. The line work's been faded so it doesn't overwhelm the new alignment features. A red line, also in our background here, shows our proposed new alignment. This is mostly to the left of the old road. This tutorial is going to help us establish a new alignment based on that guideline. The shape of our cross section depends on the contents of our default template table. To adjust this, we're going to go into our template table editor dialog box. Here, through the open table button, we're going to select a more applicable template. Don't worry about templates too much right now. We cover these in depth in another tutorial. Now it's time to create our new horizontal alignment by creating intersection points. We're going to right click and use our mouse to do this. First, we're going to edit the start point of our design. So we're going to move our mouse over the existing red cross, click to capture the point, and move it down to where the proposed alignment is going to leave the existing road. We can create, edit, insert, and delete intersection points using the mouse. We're going to continue this process until we have an alignment somewhat similar to the one in the background. The next step is creating our horizontal curves. We start by identifying an IP, then we define the curve between the tangents it defines. With our second intersection point selected, we're going to press the Get Curve button to set up the parameters, then press Apply to generate our first curve. Let's do the same thing for our next intersection point. Now, let's move our IP points and adjust our curve radiuses to see if we can better closely match our background proposed alignment. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining us.